Titles are one of the most important elements of a scrapbook layout. The best titles combine text with images. They look especially nice when they have a mat behind them that kind of ties everything together, like this one. In this video, I'll show you how to outline complex titles, including text and graphics, using Inkscape. This is the third video in a series. If you find some of it confusing, make sure you watch the other two videos first. I'll put a link to them in the video description. For this lesson, I'll be using the Objects doc quite a lot. Go to Object and choose Objects. And that will open up the Objects doc on the right side panel. You may have to drag it down so you can see more of it. The Objects doc simply shows you what elements you have on your canvas. I have three text boxes, as you can see. Now, in my first video, you learned how to prepare the text to make a linked offset. I need to do that for each of these text boxes. For each one, I need to go to Path, Object to Path, Object Ungroup, then Path Union. And I need to do it for each one of them. Now take a look at my Objects Path. I have no longer three text boxes, but I have three vector paths. Now let's add in the images. I've already converted these PNG files into SVG. You learned how to do that in my second video. And I also want to insert some musical notes. Now before I can begin building my linked offset, I need to make sure that everything in the objects doc are vector paths. No text boxes, no images, no groups. So here's a group right here, that's my musical notes. I need to ungroup that with object ungroup. Here's another group here. Now everything in my object doc is just a whole bunch of vector paths. Now in the first video, I showed you how to do a linked offset with a simple text title. And we had to make sure we unioned everything together, all of the text, before we could do the text linked offset. So I'm going to need to do that again for this title. But because it's a complex title that has both graphics and text, I need to fool Inkscape into making a background for a single unioned object. I'm going to select everything on my screen. I'll double check and make sure I've got everything selected in my objects doc. I do. And now I'm going to duplicate it. Edit, duplicate. Now if you look in the object stock, I've got twice as much stuff. I still have the duplicate selected, so while it's selected, I'm going to grab it and move it off from the original. Now here's where I fool Inkscape. I'm going to union this copy. Path, Union. Now this is one single path. You can see in the object stock here, instead of a group of all those paths, it's one single path, and because it's one path, now I can make a linked offset. Path, linked offset. I'm going to color it gray. Remember from the first video, you grab that diamond and stretch it. Now I no longer need this object that I used to make the linked offset, so I can delete it. I've got it selected here, as you can see in the objects dock. I click on the minus sign and it's gone. So that is my offset that I'm going to use to put behind my text and graphics. I'll need to send it to the very bottom of this stack. I'll use this button here to move it down. Now when I move it, it's going to show up underneath all the rest of the elements. Before I do that, I have a problem. You see all of these little holes and scratches that are in here. That's a result of the offset that I used. 
I found a real quick and easy way of getting rid of those. Go to Path, Break Apart, and that's kind of like contour in Cricut Design Space. It breaks all of the elements up into these little uh, tiny paths. Now I do Path Union to join them all together, and all my holes and scratches have disappeared. Before I put my outline mat underneath the rest of the title, I'm going to add another outline to it. I'm going to do a second linked offset. This one's going to be black, and it's just going to be a very narrow little outline, like that. Now I'm ready to grab both of those, and with my selector tool right there, I move it up underneath my title. There, that looks good, but I don't like the color. I'm going to change that color. Which one is it? This one right here. I'm going to use a, just a real pale, pale gray. Yeah, like that. Now the last thing I do is I select everything and I group it. Now I'm ready to save. Let's see how this looks in Cricut Design Space. And that's how you make a complex title with a linked offset behind it in Inkscape so you can use it on your Cricut to cut it out for your scrapbooks. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.